Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are discussing about the kinetic theory. Okay, in kinetic theory of gases, already we learned in the previous uh, video about the Avogadro number, this uh, gases that is a perfect ideal gas equation, all those things we learned. So, now we are going to study about what are the assumptions of kinetic theory of gases. What is meant by this kinetic theory? In that theory, what are the assumptions we are considering? Okay, so I know this one you already learned in your chemistry also, the same thing only you are studying here. So, just listen to this. A gas consists of a large number of atoms or molecules, isn't it? The gas means it has a large number of atoms will be there, molecules are there. We know in last class we learned in 22.4 liters of gas, it has Avogadro number of molecules are there. Listen it, Avogadro number of molecules are there in 22.4 liters of gas. This is, so, the first one is that one. A gas consists of a large number of atoms or molecules. Okay, the next one is the molecules of a gas are in a state of random motion. So, all the molecules are let's say, in a random motion. We can't say random means disordered manner. See, if a, uh, a gas is consisting of a, inside the, of a particular volume, it will be in a random motion. We can't say what will be, we can't predict what will be the position of the molecule at a particular instant of time. Okay, so it will be in a random motion. The next one is size of the gas molecule is very small as compared to the distance between them. See the size of the molecules are very small. It is of the order of angstrom. But the, see it is about size is about 2 angstrom. Size is nearly about 2 angstrom. But the distance between the molecule is about 20 angstrom. Okay, so understood what will be the so size of the molecule is very small as compared to the uh, distance between them. Distance between the molecule is 20 angstrom and the size of the molecule is about 2 angstrom. Okay, so uh, the next is the molecule do not exert any force the, of attraction or repulsion between them. So between the molecules there is no uh, attraction or repulsive force between the molecules and the next one is momentum and kinetic energy during collision is conserved quantity. So, already we learned about the if momentum and kinetic energy are conserved, which type of collision it is? Elastic collision. So, we can say it is elastic collision. Okay, the collision of gas molecule is elastic. That means here momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. And next one is molecular density is uniform. That is molecular density of uh, the uh, molecule inside a container molecular density will be uniform. Molecular density will be that is the distance between the molecules are same as almost the same then it will be molecular density will be uniform almost the same it will be. The next is molecule moves in a straight line between the collisions. See uh, molecule will be moving in a straight line between the collision. That means we already learned in the previous video about the collision. That is this minimum distance required before collision. That is called the mean free path. Isn't it? So, here they are describing about the mean free path. That is between the collision it will be moving in a straight line. So, next one is collision is an instantaneous process. That means within a fraction of second this collision will be happening. It is a very instantaneous process. Okay. So, these are the major assumptions in kinetic theory of gases. Okay. So, it is very important but you already you learned in chemistry I guess. So, it will be easy for you. Okay, clear? So, what is meant by the kinetic theory of gases? Theory behind the gas molecules. Okay, so next we are going to study about what will be pressure of an ideal gas. Okay, we are going to calculate a formula for what will be the pressure. Okay, so next is pressure of an ideal gas. 
for that first we are going to consider one cube having side length l like that one cube i am considering this is not of equal size so this is a cube having side l gas is enclosed in the in this cube okay so i am considering the three axes here okay three dimension so three gas three axes i am considering gas is enclosed in this okay so the molecules will be moving inside that okay now i am going to consider the what is the pressure of an ideal gas pressure how we can find out pressure equals force by area isn't it so but force how we can write down f is equal to k into dp by dt change in momentum so what we are first we are k we are taking it as 1 so dp by dt so here since the object the it is uh, molecules are moving we are considering the change in momentum we are going to consider okay i am considering one molecule what will be the so i am considering a molecule here it is at the possible velocity is vx vy vz okay i am considering the velocity is vx vy vz that molecule is coming and uh, incidenting in one side and going back while it is going back it is moving with velocity minus vx vy vz okay this is the velocity of the molecule which is moving in the opposite direction okay so here what is the change in momentum here we are going to consider the change in momentum of the molecule okay so change in momentum of the molecule change in momentum of molecule as final momentum minus initial momentum m is the mass then minus m v x because it is moving in the opposite direction right so minus m v x minus what is the initial momentum m v x so we will get it as minus 2 m v x this is the momentum of the molecule then what will be the momentum imparted to the walls of the cube momentum imparted to the walls of the cube momentum imparted to the walls of the cube to the walls of cube will be positive this is negative isn't it it is moving with velocity so what will be the momentum imparted to the walls 2 mvx because the wall is not moving right so it is a constant so it will be my 2 mvx over there opposite 2 mvx okay so we got the momentum if it is happening for a so what how much distance it would have traveled the distance traveled will be equal to so what will be the number of molecules in unit volume so next i am considering let n be the number of molecules per unit volume number of molecules per unit volume then what will be the total number of molecules total number of molecules in the gas will be equal to equal to n into volume okay volume covered how we can find out the volume covered volume covered will be equal to what will be the area of that portion into distance covered a into area into distance covered velocity into time will be the distance covered isn't it so velocity into distance n a v x delta t this is the molecule is moving to this side and this side the total area i go, gave it as a isn't it so what will be the so twice for a single particle moving coming back so i am considering twice isn't it so what will be the actual volume of total number of molecules total number of molecules for a 
particular area a will be equal to just half of this what is the what is the reason because while we are considering this total area we are considering the same molecule twice going this molecule going to this side and coming back twice we are considering okay so since we are considering the same molecule twice over here in this volume we are considering the same molecule twice the total number of molecules will be equal to half of this one okay so what will be the total momentum in that case total momentum of all molecules all gas molecules will be molecules will be what will be 2 mvx into n a b x delta t divided by 2 okay so this is the total momentum okay now we are going to find out the force now here force equals momentum divided by say dp by dt so momentum is m v x square n a delta t divided by delta t okay so now we are getting the force as n m v x square into a delta t delta t will get cancelled right now we can find out the pressure as force by area force divided by area so n m v x square this is for along the x direction the same only since it is a cube and same only we are consider because of symmetry using symmetry we can write it as vx will be equal to vy equals vz so i can write down i'll write down the rest of the things over here since we don't have enough space over there so vx vx square average vx square will be equal to vy square will be equal to vz square average so all the average vx square average will be equal to the average of all the molecules while we are considering so as an average we can write it as p equals n m vx square by 3 average 1 by 3 nm vx bar square i am considering y divided by 3 average in all the direction while we are considering we are getting it as 1 by 3 nm vx bar square by 3 that is 1 by 3 nm vx bar square this is using symmetry of the cube we are considering in this way so this is pressure of an ideal gas so what is this n into m So n into n is the number of molecules per unit volume, isn't it? So capital M is the mass of the uh, total mass of the gas. Then we can consider that capital M by V mass by volume into V x bar square here by three. So we can write it as one by three rho V x square bar. Also we can write it. This is the pressure of an ideal gas. okay clear so in an ideal gas while we are considering the pressure of an ideal gas see these see while seeing all these things you will uh, see you uh, derivation very difficult how we will understand only thing you should remember is pressure equals force by area force equals rate of change in momentum these two steps only we are using it over here the rest everything is mathematical steps only see one only one molecule first have we are considering only one molecule along x direction vx v minus vx okay so momentum imparted to the wall to the molecule it is minus 2 mvx and for the molecule the momentum imparted to the walls while we are considering it is plus 2 mvx okay then n with the number of molecules per unit volume multiplying with the l into volume what will be the volume of the uh, But the volume is covered by the molecule area covered into vx into area into distance distance how we come found out vx into velocity into time okay now total momentum is equal to how we are considering why it is uh, become becoming half of half over here volume means it is including the same molecule twice we are considering moving coming back so twice we are considering to avoid that we are dividing it into two 
okay total momentum while we are considering we are uh, this momentum total number of molecules into momentum of one molecule at uh, 2 mbx force we are finding out force equals change in momentum divided by time change in momentum divided by time so pressure equals force by area so we got it as nm vx square so while we are considering the symmetry of the molecules we got it as v square is equal to 1 by 3 vx bar square okay so we can consider it as pressure equals 1 by 3 nm vx bar square that is the total pressure of an ideal gas okay clear for you so that's what i i thought of taking this much only today and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye